Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, taking a quick hiatus from my day off the internet. I take April 1st off the internet every day because I just don't like April Fool's Day. Uh, but this one is no joke, this is a for real thing. Uh, over on itch.io they are running a game developer bundle. Uh, basically it boils down to you can get six game development related applications for 15 bucks. There's about a week left on this, six days to be precise by the time this video goes up. And there are six programs in there. More or less it boils down to if one of the programs looks interesting interesting to you, you can get all of these programs for about the same price as buying one of them. So we're going to walk through, take a look at the six different programs in this bundle. I'm going to start with the bell of the ball, and that is One Bit Dragon, at least in my humble opinion. This is a visual music creation system. It's kind of similar to, and I'm going to say this wrong, uh, Bosca Seol, uh, B-O-S-C-A-C-E-I, no, C E. C-O-I-L, Bosca Coil, something along those lines. Um, it is a on-screen visual music creation system. So you see here, you actually literally just draw notes and you can create your music that way. So if you're a musical idiot like myself, you can probably generate some fairly nice results. In terms of features, you've got things like 70, 175 uh, instruments, 150 drum sounds, uh, 66 patterns, 396 variations, uh, and so on and so forth. You can export your music out. You can import and export out. Wave, you can export out MIDI files. So if you are looking for a simplified um, music creation tool, uh, that is what One Bit Dragon is all about. And on its own, it's 20 bucks. So as I said, if, if it looks interesting to you, you can get it for $5 off today and get five bonus programs. That's basically how this bundle works. The next one we've got here is Sprite Stack. Now Sprite Stack is kind of like if you took Ken Shape that I recently talked about where you, you draw in sprite layers and turn it into 3D. Well, this is the same kind of thing, just more complicated, more complex. Basically, you're drawing 3D objects with layers of sprites. And so you can create uh, voxel objects pretty quickly. You draw one layer and then you'll draw the layer above it, draw the layer above it until you get a 3D object out of it. It gives you a very uh, specific style. And as you can see here, 30 bucks. So here you're getting at half price and getting all the other programs for free as well. Get used to that theme. Now, one of the problems I found though uh, with Sprite Stack is going on down here, there hasn't been an update since 2019. And there's a lot of comments down here about, hey dude, where, what are we going? Where are we going here? Uh, so it seems like this is a, a finished project. There's no more updates coming to it, so do not expect updates. Now, I could be wrong, uh, but uh, it doesn't seem like it. It's been two years, so uh, just be aware you are buying what you get. Next up, uh, we have Tick80. Now, Tick80 is a virtual console. Uh, you basically, it's a stripped down environment. All the tools you need are in there, uh, like music creation tool, map editor, uh, sprite editor, so on. And then uh, you can write your own games. Normally these are in Lua. I wonder which one this one actually is. I'm not 100% certain. This one's only five bucks normally, so not a massive savings by any means. But if you were looking to get into more of that constrained computer development type stuff, kind of a retro feel for what it was to like develop for 8-bit consoles, uh, Tick80 does that for you. It's a mini retro virtual console uh, with a programming environment and so on for you. Uh, next up, we have Nimble Writer, uh, which is really hard to read for some reason. It's a general purpose tool for writing stories, be it short fiction or complete novels or books. Um, it's kind of a distraction-free text editor. So what are the advantages here over traditional? Traditional writing software such as Word, OpenOffice, or Google Docs are made just for the purpose of writing, so they don't have anything that helps story writers manage their notes and reference material. Neither does it offer much customization. Uh, they do not have any kind of chapter management either. Nimble Writer has all those things, making it a much more productive choice for, for story writers. So here you can just write your story, but you can also have freehand notes, pictures, and, and reference materials, and so on to go alongside it. So it's a minimalistic writing tool. Uh, with kind of a, a, a corresponding um, a scrapbook kind of thing attached to it. And then we get into tape. Uh, tape is basically a minimalistic to-do list. It's a simple and elegant, uh, intimate project management tool designed for artists, designers, or any creative professional. It tracks projects in collections, tasks, and deliverables as items within collections. Setting the state of each item depends on its status, as simple as clicking start something. So here you can see, uh, basically, you can do things like uh, to-do list tracking, kind of conditionals, and so on. It's a straightforward, simple, streamlined project management tool. And then finally, we get into probably the most gaggish, useless item on the list, but it might be fun. Uh, it's a fun and accessible way to make games, draw an object, drag it onto canvas, add rules to make a game, upload your stories to the library, play and write other people's creations. So it is a very 
uh, simple, simple, simple game engine. Uh, but if you've got a, a young one in your family uh, that wants to create, you know, interactive experiences or whatever, uh, this could be a, a good choice for them. And that's it. So I got an interesting collection of stuff in here. As I, as you saw going through here, uh, this one and this one alone uh, cost more than the entire bundle. So if those are the two you're thinking about picking up, the whole thing is just kind of a no-brainer. This one uh, is, all the rest of them are actually cheaper than the cost of the bundle. So the two big things in this bundle are definitely Sprite Stack and One Bit Dragon. And I would actually say One Bit Dragon is probably the star of the show. So that is the Game Making Itch.io Select Bundle. Do you have any experience with any of these things? The only thing I've actually used here in the past, I've used Sprite Stack and I have used Tick 80, I believe. Uh, but if you've got experience with uh, Nimble Writer, uh, Tape, One Bit Dragon, or Sock Stories, and you want to share it with the rest of the community, please do so in the comments down below. And let me know what you think of this bundle. That's it. I will talk to you all later. And have a happy April Fool's Day. All right. See you later. Goodbye.